50-year-old Godfrey Mweti is originally from Ferryberg in the Northwest Province. In 1982, at the age of 20, Mr. Mweti moved to Kokosi Township near Carltonville looking for a job and found work as a miner at Ellis Rand's Mine, where he was paid 113 rands per month. In 1996, Mr. Mweti lost his job and his income, which was then 1,300 rands a month. From that time until today, he has never received a pension or provident fund. He lives alone in this house, and he says it is difficult to make ends meet. Mr. Mweti is just one of thousands of former mine workers who have not been paid pension funds by the different mining companies. Most of these mine workers now live in poverty and are struggling to survive. The Financial Services Board says there's 15 billion rands in unclaimed pension benefits. About one third of this is believed to be unclaimed benefits for miners. Attorney Barnabas Tulu is planning to help these miners access benefits that may be due to them. We are in the region of 45,000 cases now that we are handling different categories uh, against the Department of Health, against the mining companies, against the Provident Fund, and against um, the Department of Labor. Tulu met with the miners in one of the town's primary schools to discuss their cases. Well, what is happening in South Africa is that uh, during apartheid, a huge number of people were affected differently. And there's never been any recourse to help these groups that were affected. And we see ex-miners as that group that needs to be attended to as a group and we deal with their special needs. In the same way as you look at the uh, farm workers, in the same way as you look at the factory workers. So it's, it's this is one of the categories that uh, we, we, we're very hopeful that uh, we can see their rights uh, being vindicated. Life for the miners at the moment is difficult. Their only hope lies in receiving unclaimed pensions. This is Jigateng Malika reporting from Johannesburg.